Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another squad builder and today we've got a 180,000 coin Bundesliga squad. Now it's in a 4-4-1-1 formation, which is a formation that I used a lot in FIFA 13, but as of uh, previous to this particular squad, I hadn't used it on FIFA 14, so I wanted to give it a go and uh, we hadn't built a Bundesliga squad yet, so uh, I decided to jump straight in and, uh, and build run and in goal we're going to have Rene Adler. Now I pulled him in a pack opening recently and uh, you'll have seen that earlier on in the week on this channel perhaps and uh, 86 diving, 86 reflexes 83 positioning and 81 handling are his standout stats he goes for around about the four to five thousand coin mark at uh, the point of recording but uh, honestly I prefer Roman Wiedenfeller he's a much better goalkeeper Adler he makes decent saves but he doesn't okay this might sound weird but he rather than saving the ball he lets the ball hit him if that makes sense so say the ball's going down into the corner rather than diving down and pushing it around the corner round the post for uh, for an opposition corner he'll just dive put his arm there it will hit his arm bounce off and go back into play normally into a dangerous position so uh, I wasn't particularly too keen on Rene Adler to be completely honest but at right back we're going to have Lucas Piszczek one of the best right backs on the game let alone in the Bundesliga of course has high high work rates as well 12,500 coins paid 85 pace 81 defending and again very very good on the ball 75 dribbling 77 passing decent in the air it's 76 uh, on the card stat and six foot tall so a very very good all round player his shot isn't the best but can potentially pop up with a goal if you need him he only picked up one assist from uh, the seven games that I played with this squad so it wasn't the most fruitful going forward but defensively extremely solid then on the other side at left back we're going to have David Alaba and obviously we've bought him in the Tottenham career mode he's got the maestro uh, maestro chemistry style on him dribbling shot and passing improved there not really too sure why someone would have put that on him that's how I bought him but 34,750 coins paid he's very expensive for a defender I think it's overpriced personally he may of course have dropped by now uh, I am recording this about a week to two weeks in advance of you actually seeing it, but 7, 86 pace, 82 dribbling, 77 defending, 82 passing are his stand-up stats. Much like Lucas Piszczek, very, very good on the ball, decent going forward, half decent defensively, but Piszczek is a lot more solid at the back. And again, only a couple of assists from him going forward. So I wouldn't recommend picking him up unless he drops in price. I'd say go for a Schmelzer or someone like that because uh, he's just not worth the money. Unless, of course, you go for, say, a 3-5-2 uh, a and play three centre-backs is probably the best way to do it, although in that instance you wouldn't get to use Lucas Piszczek as well, but anyway, let's move into the centre-backs we're going to have Dante and Jerome Boateng, Jerome Boateng scored an absolute worldie for the clips at the end 75 pace, 79 defending and 82 heading on the standout stats again, decent on the ball, 67 dribbling and 72 passing, it seems to be uh, the way forward with uh, with defenders in, in the Bundesliga, 4-star week for 3-star skill, was only 2,400 coins paid, absolute bar for a player that is really, really rock steady at the back. Six foot fours, tall, strong, physical, fast. You can't get much better than that when you want a defender. And uh, Dante is going to be the other player we have sat alongside him. 68 pace, a little bit slower. 84 defending, 81 heading. Again, 70 dribbling and 76 passing. So, again, going along with that uh, with that good footballing philosophy. 7,400 coins paid. And I'd probably have swapped the price tags around for the, uh, the two centre-backs. Dante was decent, but not worth seven and a half grand for me, uh, in my experience anyway. I would have paid that for Jerome Boateng for what he offered the team as a whole. But let's move into the midfield. I have got Danny Caligiuri. Unfortunately, I don't have the money for a Marco Royce just yet. So we've gone for Daniel Caligiuri, a very, very good player. Four-star weak foot, three, no, four-star skill moves rather. Three-star weak foot, only 350 coins paid for a player that is really, really effective down that left-hand side. 83 pace, 82 dribbling, and he does get involved in every single move that you the uh, that you go forward with he's really really good player for that amount of coins one goal and one assist in uh, in the games that he played but he's six foot uh, six foot tall so he's got the pace and the strength crucially as well when pushing down those wide areas on the right hand side we're going to have Thomas Muller now I was fortunate enough to win him in a giveaway by uh, by Van Gilf I don't know whether you know Van Gilf I will leave a link in the description to uh, to his channel so thank you very much to Joe for uh, for giving me Thomas Muller 82 pace 80 dribbling 81 shot and passing 74 heading I don't like him I'll be honest I'd much rather have a, a Jefferson Farfan perhaps on the right hand side in a, in a squad like this 
Um, I used him because I, I, you know, I got him and I had him just sat in my club. So I used him for this particular squad. But I wouldn't advise picking up Thomas Muller. He'd be more effective at a cam roll. Maybe he might be, uh, he might be worth it. Say a right forward, but uh, out on the right hand side in a in a flat four formation just doesn't suit him whatsoever. And then into the middle, we're going to have uh, no, not centre forward. We're going to have uh, Gundogan and Lars Bender. Now a Lars. Be oh, I keep going to centre forward and now I've backed out the squad. This is going really well, isn't it? I'm going to go back in. We'll have a quick look at Lars Bender and then we'll have a look at Gundogan. So uh, let's have a look at Lars Bender then, shall we? 70 pace, 82 defending, which is the main reason why I bought him. 73 dribbling, 80 passing, 74 heading. Is another tall, strong, physical player that is extremely good in the tackle. Now that's high, high work rates. Unfortunately, his dribbling doesn't feel that good. Uh, which is probably why he is a little bit cheaper than you may expect for a guy that's that strong defensively. His touch and his uh, his passing isn't as good as the card stats may suggest. But he has picked up one assist in the seven games. And then Gundogan is, of course, the other player that we're going to have in CM. Maestro, so uh, again, dribbling, shot and passing improved with that chemistry style. 82 pass pace, 84 passing, 87 dribbling, 73 shots, 74 uh, defending. So he's a very, very good all-round player. High medium work rates, expensive, extremely expensive at 34,000 coins for a centre mid. Although he is very, very good. Uh, yeah, he didn't fulfil his potential in this particular team with one goal and one assist in the seven games. But I do really, really like Ilko Gundogan. He's an extremely good player. Unfortunately, it looks like he's going to be injured for the rest of, uh, of the calendar year in real life for Borussia Dortmund. So that is going to be a big miss for them. But uh, the guy in centre forward is going to be Henrik I don't know whether the uh, the M or the H is silent, so I'm going to say Katarian, but I'm not sure. Katarian, potentially, we don't know. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. He's Armenian, 3,600 coins paid. Considering he's probably one of the only options as a centre-forward in the, in the whole of the Bundesliga, it's a very, very good price to pay. 80 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shots, 75 passing. He's kind of come from nowhere, really. Joined uh, Borussia Dortmund in the summer, and he's an extremely good player, but again, it didn't really fulfil his potential in this team. No goals scored and only one assist in the seven games played, and that kind of uh, that kind of is the theme throughout the entirety of this squad. Up top, we're going to have Robert Lewandowski. Paid seventy-eight thousand five hundred coins for him. Scored five in seven, but I just didn't feel that comfortable with him. Eighty-two pace, eighty-four dribbling, seventy-eight shot, and eighty-three heading of the standout stats, as well as having a w four-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. But I didn't like him. I'll be honest. This whole squad, I had such high hopes for it going into. Uh, into playing some games and it just wasn't what I wanted the uh, the squad to be. I don't know whether it was the formation, I don't know whether it was the players that I brought into the squad, whether there was a particular player that might have changed things or if uh, it was, like I say, in a different formation it would have felt a lot nicer but I didn't like this squad as a whole but you might feel differently and by the time you see this it might be a lot cheaper as well so uh, feel free to go and check it out if you want to of course feel free to leave the video a like if it could be so kind as well that'd be absolutely superb we're going to have some goals at the end for you with some music over the top so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time <laughs>